look at that thing. We go mud. So today I decided to break out the Victory Impulse and give you guys a good look at this all-electric motorcycle. I pull this bike out when I need to run some quick errands and if I have somewhere I need to go that isn't too far away. It has its pros and cons just like any other bike, but I'll talk to you guys about what those are. So technically you can just take off without using the clutch whatsoever. You can shift gears without using the clutch whatsoever. You can literally ride anywhere you want and never touch the clutch. Just like a gas powered motorcycle though, your RPMs can max out and the engine's not going to pick up more and more speed, but you could literally throw the thing in third gear and just go anywhere you wanted. So loud. This bike is undeniably fun though. It gets a little sketchy splitting lanes because nobody actually hears you coming. It's one of the cons. So the Victory Impulse is a 470 pound all electric motorcycle. It's got a six speed transmission. It's powered by a lithium ion battery. It's 10,400 watts max power. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little cheat sheet going right here. Thanks Rockform. So it's a six-speed transmission with a hydraulic activated wet clutch. The max horsepower on this bike is 54. Doesn't seem like much, but where it makes up its power is in torque. So let's compare to maybe my 636, my stunt bike. The max torque output on that bike is about 47. And the max torque output on this thing is 61 foot-pounds. Max speed, 100 miles per hour. I've had it up to 115. This thing accelerates like not many other bikes I've ridden. It's hard to explain. I keep telling people they have to experience it, but I'm pretty sure that this bike is faster than most 600s off the line and possibly even some of the 1,000 liter bikes. 20 minutes later. This bike has a massive set of brakes. 310 millimeter floating rotors, dual four piston calipers, a stoppy machine. Plus it has inverted forks so that's even better for the stoppies but it's just better all around suspension. These dirt style bars are pretty comfortable. Bike's easy to maneuver. The acceleration factor alone on these bikes makes these things undeniably fun to ride man they're so quick. Oh chickens. There's a guy over here, I gotta find that place. He's got, he's got a uh, zebra. Oh, it's this place, right here. I'm gonna pull off. Let's see, oh yeah. Check out the zebra. If you ever want to see a zebra, there's a zebra at this ranch in Redlands off Santa Mateo Canyon Road. I don't know why these people have a zebra, but it's pretty damn cool. So why is the Impulse one of my go-to bikes when I need to do something quick? Well, one, it's fast. Two, as fast as I can put my helmet on and my gear, I can go. Because this bike doesn't ever need to warm up and I don't ever need to stop at a gas station as long as I have a charge. The bike's pretty low on maintenance, it doesn't really require much very often. So what are some of the cons to a bike like this, or any electric bike for that matter? Well, once you see your voltage getting low, you can't just stop at a gas station, throw a splash of gas in it, and be on your way again. This thing requires being charged up, so you either have to find an outlet, and it takes some time. It's not a quick charge. Standard wall plug, like in your garage, plugged into this thing, requires eight and a half to almost nine hours to fully charge the thing. That's a long time. So if you don't get home to your charging station before your bike goes fully dead, 
You better either one, have the charger with you, or two, have AAA or some sort of roadside assistance. So another one of the downfalls of a bike like this is for those of you that commute and you split lanes and states that it's legal, it's legal here in California, but when you're splitting lanes, nobody can hear you coming. The exhaust, I admit, I think it, it helps when splitting lanes. I think it does help people to hear hear you coming before you get there and maybe watch out for you. And this thing is super quiet, you're approaching cars and they don't even know you're there. I love the sound of a bike with exhaust too. It's one of the reasons I started riding motorcycles is because I just love the way they sound, like the way they look, fun to ride. So another thing that might be considered a con to some people is that this bike in particular has no traction control and no ABS. I don't care for either of those things, so for me that's not a con, but... So one of the things I guess is a pro is that this bike does have an eco mode, and in eco mode it lets the RPMs climb a little slower, they don't max out as fast, and it preserves the battery, so you get a little more juice out of the battery, you can go a little further. I've typically seen about 100 miles to a full charge on this bike, but I'm sure you could probably get a little more out of it if you don't ride like an asshole like me, but I'm addicted to that fast acceleration that this thing has and I'm always romping on it when I take off because it's just too much fun not to. So we know this thing has great brakes, great suspension, it stoppies like a champ. Some of you guys might be wondering, does it wheelie? Yeah, it actually wheel wheelie really well. I had to learn how to bring it up and stay smooth on the gas because, well not the gas, but the throttle because you can't really play with it. You can't go on and off, on and off like you would a gas motor. You have to stay in a consistent gain of power to maintain the wheelie. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. but wonder if these are the kinds of bikes we're going to see more of in the future. Honda just built that bike that balances on its own. But these things are eco-friendly, they have no emissions, and I know that's what uh, a lot of people are leaning towards, so we'll see. Well, can I get a... Here you go. Thanks. Another one of the bonuses to not having to use the clutch is you can grab yourself a coffee before you go home. Not recommended. So I know some of you guys have been asking to see more of my garage and my bikes and it's one of the reasons why I broke this thing out to give you a closer look at it but I'm going to work on that for you guys. I'm going to try to put together a video giving you guys a look at all of my bikes. How do you guys feel about a motorcycle like this, all electric? Would you guys buy one like this? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I've got some new TC stickers being cut right now, they're on the way. So if you guys are interested in any of those, or a t-shirt, anything to support, I appreciate it. Everything's on my website, TonyStunts.com, be sure to check it out. The show season's about to kick off again, so we got some stunt shows that we're going to be doing, and I'll uh, walk you guys through those in, in video as well. Thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.